Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa. I am a totally blind wife and mama. I have a two-year-old little girl, Annabella, who's sitting over here playing happily. Um, and my husband, he is my cameraman because I'm totally blind and he is not. He films my videos for me, so he is behind the camera today. And I'm really, really, really excited about today's video because we are going to do a cook with me video today. So um, if you are new to my channel, then you don't know this, but I enjoy cooking. I'm not the best cook, I usually admit that to my subscribers, but when I find something I like, I do it a lot. And I discovered the Instant Pot a couple years ago, and it has been a lifesaver for me. Um, it's amazing, and I found lots of recipes I like, and it makes it easy for me to cook as someone who's blind. Now, blind people, definitely can cook. I have blind friends who cook better than some of my sighted friends. So I'm being honest, it has nothing to do with my blindness, but I just am not a natural cook. So the Instant Pot has made it a lot easier for me. So today I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite recipes and we're gonna go to my Instant Pot and you can see what I like to make. So because it is fall right now and it is getting cold everywhere, we're gonna make soup today. Um, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I hope you enjoy it, and let's go get cooking. Okay, here we are at my handy dandy Instant Pot. We are going to make tonight seven can taco soup. You guys, this is not only an amazing recipe, but the easiest recipe you will ever make in the Instant Pot. It's great for beginners, and I love it. I actually got this off of Six Sister Stuff. They have the best Instant Pot recipes ever. So let's get going. So we have our seven cans lined up here. We're gonna start with our can of chicken, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I open cans. Now, obviously I can use a regular can opener, but I have bad wrists, I have like carpal tunnel, and it's really hard for me to do. So I got this handy dandy can opener. It's really cool, guys. It's by Xylus, um, and it's battery operated, so you just stick it on the can, and it kind of has a magnetic little hold there. And I'll have to adjust it, but I push the button, and it opens the can. Well, Maybe it will. Hold on. Sometimes I gotta readjust it. Hold on. There we go. Let's see if it'll work this time. There we go. We're in business. Opening our can. <laughs> it's so cool. You can just let go and it just does it for you. And then when it's done, it just kind of stops turning. I'll show you. Almost, almost, still turning, I can feel it with my hand. Almost there, there we go. See how the noise changed, so I push the button, wait for it to stop, there we go, and I pull it off, put it down, and there we go, the lid just comes right up, so I'm gonna pick this up gently, so the liquid doesn't spill. In fact, I'm gonna use two hands. until I feel my Instant Pot with my hand. There we are. <laughs> Everything takes a little longer when you're blind. You just gotta use your hands and go slow. Okay, so, took the lid off and I'm just gonna dump this chicken with the liquid right on in there. There we go. All right, guys, so, the next thing we're gonna put in, I'm gonna put this down over to the side here. The next thing we have is black beans. So what we're gonna do, I'll just kinda show you guys. Um, I won't make you watch me open each can since I already showed you that. But we've got here black beans, then we're gonna do pinto beans, and then we are going to do our next thing, which is corn, canned corn, and we leave the liquid in the corn. Um, and then these two beans we're gonna drain, and then we're gonna go ahead and do diced tomatoes with liquid in it, and then we're going to go ahead and do chicken broth. These are all cans lined up here in a row. That's how I know what they are. And then our last can here is enchilada sauce. Now, yes, my husband lined them up for me beforehand. It's easier that way. If I really wanted to know what cans they were, I would call Ira, which is a phone service for the blind. It's really cool. So all that to say, I'm gonna open all these cans just like I just did, and I'm gonna pour them all into this pot, and I'll show you what I do at the end. All right, you guys, got all seven cans dumped in here. This recipe is seriously so easy because it's just a dump and go. So the last thing we're gonna do is rip open this packet of taco seasoning. This is the best part, makes it a taco soup. And then we're gonna dump this on top. So I'll do that just by feel. 
shake it a little bit and if it doesn't come out just kind of rip it more until it all does shake 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 oops <laughs> got some on me that's okay all right now that's pretty much out so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a spoon out of my drawer here because that's what we need to do and i'm gonna give this a little mix just to make sure the powder is evenly dispersed just, and it's kind of like, it's not a deep mix. It's just, we just kind of want to like mix it along the top so that it just is evenly spread. Just like that. Okay. I think we are good. So now, let's put my spoon right here. Top of that little wrapper, brush off my hands. And then it is time to put on our lid. So this takes me a couple minutes to do usually because you have to line it up just right. But the coolest thing about the Instant Pot is it like, it makes noise, I'll show you. So it tells me when the lid is on correctly. So I'm gonna try to line it up right now the best that I can. Oops. And I know because it didn't beep that it's not lined up yet. I'm gonna pull it off again. Try it again. <laughs> Sorry guys, this always takes me a while. Okay, so you hear that? That meant you've got it lined up. Now all I gotta do is turn it, just like that. So it is locked, I lift it to make sure, perfect. Now I make sure this valve up here, or this this little yeah little knob, is on seal. Or I'm sorry, yeah, sealing, not venting. So sealing, you kind of face towards the right side. So like I always say, like towards me, and then venting is away from me. Okay, so that's what I just did. I put it on sealing so that it gets to pressure. So now I come down here to the panel, and. Yes, I'm blind and yes, none of these buttons are labeled, but all I do is I've just memorized kind of the order. So I know this is pressure cook and then I just go two over. So let's see, one, two, three, like that. And then I go up one and I know that that is um, minus. So first I gotta push pressure cook because we want it on pressure cook. And then we go two over and up and then we go seven, six, five, four. So now it's on four minutes. Now the reason I did that, I'm gonna wait for it to beep, make sure it's processed here. Come on, are we gonna beep? Maybe not, okay. Oh, there we go. That's how it tells me we're ready to go. So what I did was um, I knew that it had been set to eight minutes because the last meal I made in this Instant Pot was set to eight minutes. So it kind of stays where it was last left off at. So what I did was I memorized where the buttons were, I went to the minus and I pushed eight all the way down to four. And that's how I knew how to set the time. So that's how I do it. So now I can just walk away and wait for this to cook. It takes a few minutes to get to pressure and then it takes four minutes on high, which is amazing how short that is. And then once it is all done, it will beep. And then I will come back and show you guys what to do next. All right, you guys, it beeped. So the soup is all done. Yes, it's okay, baby. Bella's over there at the table eating her little snack because she's gonna go to bed before we even eat this. Um, so she actually likes the soup too though. So we'll feed it to her tomorrow. But you guys, it is time to let out the pressure on the Instant Pot. So I've got my dish towel on my hand because it's hot. Yeah, I know, it's okay, sweetheart. So um, what I said earlier about the position of the valve, it honestly depends on the angle of where you're standing. So it's different now, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. It's okay, we'll wash your fingers in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that um, little knob I was telling you about and just flip it over to venting, from sealing to venting. So I'm gonna find it with a dish towel the best I can. I'm gonna push it over. Come on. Oh, is that why? See, I'm telling you the angle's different. Thank you, babe. There we go. Ah. See, it's all angle. Okay, so that's loud, so that's gonna let the pressure out, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, sorry guys, that was loud. <laughs> so the pressure is out, and the reason I know that is because that noise stops, and then the little pin drops, and obviously you see the pin drop, but then you also hear it. It kind of makes a doo sound. So we know that it is safe to open the pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the lid and lift it really quick. There we go. And then I'll just set it off to the side. And you guys, that is smelling so good. I'm gonna grab a spoon again out of this drawer. In fact, I think I'm gonna grab a little thick wooden spoon so that at least this give me a little more room to mix. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a stir. Oh my goodness, you guys, it looks so good. It smells amazing. Like the house smells so good right now. And I just put my little Bella to bed. Um, she, like I said before, loves this soup. She actually eats it with us. 
Um, she loves the tomatoes, they're her favorite part. But she, because of the daylight savings time change, she's like too tired, she's too tired to wait. So we just fed her something else and she will eat it tomorrow. And we are gonna enjoy it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve up my husband a bowl because this is one of his favorite things I make. Um, and I'm gonna have him be the one that taste tests for you because I wanna prove to you guys that he actually likes my cooking and that he likes the soup. So we're gonna go ahead and serve it up and we will do a taste test. Here we are, we have sat down to dinner and we actually added a little bit of shredded cheese and sour cream over the top because it just makes it that much better. So my wonderful husband is going to do the taste test for us. You ready, babe? Uh, Almost. Mixing still? Okay, mix it up. Heat. Yes. I usually don't like stuff boiling it's hot. It's very hot, so he's gonna be very careful about this because the Instant Pot makes things very hot when they come out. Extremely hot. It's fun. <laughs> okay, babe, whenever you're ready. <laughs> How did I do? Yes. Is it like it usually is? Better? Worse? What can I change? I feel like we use different pinto beans this time, so it's pretty good. Oh, did we buy different beans? Nice. Sometimes. You like it? Yeah. I, I like, like the little zing the enchilada sauce does. I know. And it's not too much for you, but... No, it's not. Cause normally I don't like spice, but this is like... I like all that flavor. And the taco season. So I succeeded? Yes. Yay! Thanks, babe. That means so much to me. All right, you guys. Well, we are going to enjoy our dinner. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and hit that button down below along with the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!